Today we're going to start in an easy, comfortable seated position, Sukhasana. If it feels good to sit cross-legged, you could do that. If that's uncomfortable, then any seated position that feels good to you. If you come into cross-legged position, just notice which leg you have in front and see if you can just swap it out. So if you normally have the left in front, just switch it out and see if you can mindfully balance out as you sit and come through different poses. And then we'll just take a moment to lower the eyelids, lower the gaze, and allow yourself just to settle in. Settle into this moment. You don't need to be anywhere else right now. Anything else can wait for the next 30 minutes. And begin to slow down the breath. Deep in the breath. And work to slowly calm the nervous system with our breath. Find length through the spine, sit up tall. And then with your eyes closed, just begin to draw the chin to chest. Feel a gentle stretch in the back of the neck. And then slowly guide right ear to right shoulder. And feel the creation of space on the left side of neck. If this feels good, stay here. Maybe take many micro movements, tilting the chin up and down just to find any juicy areas that need a little bit more love. Maybe reach left arm and extend the arm, maybe hover left hand over the floor to find a little bit more stretch. Continue to breathe. Next inhale, chin comes back to chest. Exhale, left ear, left shoulder. And then find those variations of movements in the posture here to honor the right side of neck. Continue to breathe. Next inhale, chin comes back to chest. And then maybe just rock gently from side to side, moving the neck, moving the head. Next inhale, reach arms overhead towards the sky, gaze up, and on your exhale, twist to the right. Left hand plants on right knee, right hand behind the body. Inhale, come back to center, arms stretch long, exhale, twist to the left. Inhale, arms come back to center, reach up, gaze up, and then find a quick, Forward fold from here, reaching arms out long, releasing any tension in the neck. From here, make your way to tabletop position. Hips stacked on top of the knee, shoulders on top of the wrist, fingers spread wide. Inhale, drop the belly, lift the tailbone, lift the gaze for cow. Exhale, round through the spine, eyes to thighs, Halloween cat. Create space through the shoulder blades here. Inhale, seat up, chest up, chin up, cow. Exhale, cat. Inhale for cow. And exhale, cat. 
Inhale brings you back to a neutral spine. Exhale, extend right leg long. Tuck the toes towards the back of the mat and just gently push through the toes. Send the heel back towards the back of the room. Begin to create space in the calf muscle here. If this feels good, stay here. For a balance challenge, lift the right leg, moving into hunter pose, extend left arm in front, pinky pointing down. Engage the core, so take the arch out of the back here. Inhale, exhale, knee to elbow, curl round through the spine. Inhale, extend, exhale, curl, knee to elbow. Inhale, extend. Exhale, curl, keep it here, knee to elbow in contact. And then as you exhale, left hand comes down, plant right foot between the hands, and then begin to just slide the left knee back, coming into runner's lunge. Lift the left knee. Inhale here. Heart shining forward. Your right knee is stacked over right wrist. Just feel the gentle opening and left hip flexor. Stay here if it feels good, or as you exhale, straighten right knee, coming into a pyramid pose here. Hands frame the right foot. Maybe torso drapes towards right shin. If this feels good, stay. If you crave a little bit more movement, move with your breath, take it as a flow. So inhale, runner's lunge, right knee bends, heart shines forward. Exhale, straighten right leg, forehead to shin. Inhale, coming forward. Exhale, pyramid. Inhale, come forward. Exhale, send it back. From here, hands come down towards the mat and then send the right leg back. Knees go wide, toes come together, child's pose. One full cycle of breath here. Activating your ujjayi breath. Next inhale, coming back to tabletop position. This time extend left leg long, push left heel towards the back of the mat, find that gentle stretch in the left calf. Stay here if it feels good. Or moving into hunter, other side. So left leg lifts, toes are pointing towards the earth, right arm extends, thumb up, pinky down. Inhale here. Engage the core. Exhale, knee to elbow, curl. Inhale, extend. Exhale, curl. Inhale, extend. Exhale, curl. Hold it for one second. And then right hand comes down. Plant left foot between the hands. Tuck the back toes and lift the right knee coming into runner's lunge. Sink through the hips here. Heart moves forward, left knee over left ankle. Feel the stretch in the opening in the right hip. Stay here if it feels good, or as you exhale, straighten through the left knee, forehead towards shin. Option to stay here in stillness, feeling the opening through the back of the left leg, or take it with a flow. Inhale for runner's lunge. Exhale back to pyramid. Inhale. Exhale. One more time. Inhale. And exhale. Plant the hands, step the left foot back, coming into downward facing dog. One full round of breath here. Hips are high. 
Shoulders are relaxed away from the ears, create space for the neck. Lift the heels, bend through the knees, step or hop to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, arms sweep skyward, gaze up, hands maybe kiss at the top. Exhale, hands to heart center. Sun salutation A. Inhale, arms sweep up, gaze up. Exhale, draw it through center, find your forward fold. Maybe a bend in the knees. Inhale, lift, finding a half lift. Exhale, fold, step the left and the right foot back, coming into high plank, top of a push, top of a push up. Inhale, shifting forward, shoulders over wrists. Exhale, lower down halfway or all the way to your belly, chaturanga. Inhale for cobra or up dog. Exhale, rolling over the toes, downward facing dog. Breath in. Breath out. Lift the heels, bend the knees, step or hop to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, arms sweep skyward. And exhale, hands to heart center. One more round of sun salutation A. Here we go, arms reach. Inhale, exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift, find length. Exhale, plant the hands, step back, high plank. Inhale, shift forward. Exhale, lower down halfway or all the way to your belly. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. One round of breath. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, right leg lifts for three-legged dog. Toes are pointing down, hips are closed. Push through the palms of the hands, create length. One long line of en energy. Inhale here. Exhale, step it forward, runner's lunge. Feel the opening in the left hip. And then exhale, pyramid pose. Straighten through the right knee. And then from here, we're gonna pivot left foot down, coming at a 45 degree angle, moving into trikonasana or triangle pose. So right hand down, either to the earth, the block, or the shin. Left hand reaching up. Shoulders are stacked one on top of the other. See if you can pull torso and head back ever so slightly to get in one plane. Inhale here. And then exhale, we're gonna shift forward into half moon. So we'll take a bend in the right knee, look in front of your foot, and then push off of the left toes. Maybe you land, maybe you wiggle. And we'll lift our left leg off the floor. Left arm high. Right hand can either come to a block, the floor, or maybe it hovers. See if you can lift left foot as high as the hip, engage the foot, shoulders are stacked. Find your balance. If hand is to the earth or to a block, see if you can challenge your balance and hover the hand, even if it's for one breath. Maybe bottom hand can come to heart center. Inhale. Exhale, lightly, gracefully land the left foot. And then we'll take our heels in and our toes pointing out, 
coming into goddess pose. So I'll turn around so you can see. Deep bend in the knees. See if you can get your seat at the same, the same um, level as your knees. Open your arms into a T. Breathe here. Inhale. Exhale, right forearm comes down to the thigh, left arm goes up and over towards the right. Inhale, coming back to a T. Exhale, left forearm down, right arm sweeps over. Inhale, T. Exhale to the right. Inhale, T. Exhale to the left. See if you can keep only the upper body moving. Keep the deep bend in the thighs. Sink the seat down a little bit lower and keep breathing. Moving from side to side. Feeling the heat becoming stronger. Shaking is changing. Last round. One more each direction. Exhale. And then we'll come into a wide-legged forward fold. So your toes are pointing forward, legs are spread wide, and then as you exhale, hands come down towards the earth. Maybe your head comes towards the earth. Maybe it touches. Maybe you may need to widen the stance a little to get closer. So just modify as you need. Inhale, fingertips come to the earth, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, fold, deep bend in the elbows. Head comes lower. Maybe see if you can walk your hands backwards between your legs, thumbs out, pinkies in. And breathe. One more breath in and breath out. Slowly rise, walk your hands to frame left foot towards the back of your mat. Step left foot back, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg lifts, three-legged dog. Exhale, runner's lunge. Left knee stacked over left ankle, pushing off of right toes. Inhale, exhale, straighten left knee, find your pyramid. Inhale, pivot right foot down, coming to a 45 degree angle, triangle pose. So left hand down, right hand reaches. Stack the shoulders, stack the hips. Light through bottom hand. Inhale. Exhale. One more breath, inhale. Exhale. Find a bend in the left knee, push forward, half moon, left hand down, right hand up. Right foot as high as your hip, foot is flexed. Shoulders are stacked. Find your drishti, find your balance. Inhale. Exhale, slowly land, moving into goddess pose again. Heels are in, toes are out. Deep bend in the knees. Sit down low, open the arms into a T. You know what's coming. Inhale, exhale, right forearm down, left arm up and over. Inhale to center. Exhale to the left. 
Inhale, center. Exhale to the right. Keep breathing. Keep flowing. If you're not shaking, sink a little lower. Challenge yourself. One more round each direction. Wherever you are. Inhale to center, straighten the legs, toes point forward, find your forward fold. Take a moment here. So your feet are parallel to the short edges of your mat. And then maybe take a variation in your forward fold here. So if you took your hands behind you between the legs last time, maybe walk the hands forward like downward dog arms. Maybe left hand plants underneath the face and you reach right hand to the outside of left shin. Finding a stretch all the way around the muscles of the right shoulder blade. And then take it to the other side. So do whatever feels good for you. Continue to breathe. Coming back to center, inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, fold. We'll come down to our knees. Coming down onto our backs for some core work. If you have a block, a book, a water bottle, something handy nearby, grab it. If not, it's okay. If you have something, place the block or the book, the bottle between your feet and then lay all the way back. If you don't have a block, then you're just gonna keep your feet about hips distance apart. Feet are flexed and active. So we're gonna inhale, reach our arms up, grab the block or pretend block, and then exhale, extend arms and legs in opposite directions. Low back stays in contact with the earth. Exhale, everything meets at center, pass the block back towards the feet and extend. Hover over the earth. Exhale to center, block goes back to the hands. Extend in opposite directions. Exhale, pass the block to the feet. One more time. Block to hands and extend. Exhale, block to feet and extend. And lower everything down to the earth. Release the block, imaginary block or book, whatever you had. Release everything down to the floor. And we'll come into a bridge pose from here. So walk the feet in close to the seat. Maybe fingertips graze the heels. And then on an inhale, hips lift. Push through the feet. Inhale here. Maybe arms reach overhead. Or maybe roll shoulder blades together and interlace hands against the mat. Sit your hips up a little bit higher. Release the tension in the glutes. And breathe.
If you had the hands clasped, gently release. Lift the heels, coming up onto your tippy toes, and then one vertebrae at a time. Lower to the earth, tailbone is the last to land. Knees come into chest, give yourself a hug. Inhale. Exhale. Left sole of foot to the earth, cross right leg over left thigh. Lift the left foot off the earth. Open your arms either to a T or cactus arms. Palms can face up or down. Inhale here. And exhale, legs land to our left. Gaze is either up or to your right. Finding a supine twist. Try to keep right shoulder in contact with the earth. So it's okay if knees don't come all the way to the earth. Inhale, knees come back to center. Switch the leg crossing. So left leg over right. Inhale as you lift and exhale, allow the knees to fall to the right. Maybe gaze goes to the left, if that feels good. Notice if left shoulder is lifted from the earth. What can you change to bring it back? Continue to breathe. Inhale, coming back to center. Unwind the legs. Squeeze the knees to chest. We'll come into happy baby. So maybe hands grab outer edges of feet, ankles or shins. Just notice if the lowest part of your spine is lifted, you wanna get complete length through the spine. So maybe grabbing the shins will allow that lengthening to happen. And try to stack your ankles on top of your knees your feet are flexed as if you're stamping your footprint into the ceiling. Relax the shoulders. And an option to remain in stillness or rock gently from side to side. And when that pose comes to a close for you, Prepare for our final resting pose, whatever that means for you today. Allow the eyes to close. Take any movements that you can to make yourself five to 10% more comfortable. And just notice. Notice the quality of your breath. No longer controlling the breath cycle. Notice any sensations in the body. Notice the quality of your thoughts.
take a mental snapshot of your body. Navigating your attention to any areas of tension and see if you can soften. Allow everything to become heavy, grounded, supported by the earth beneath you. As you rest in Shavasana, Slowly begin to invite tiny movements back into the body. Bring yourself back into the present moment. Maybe wiggle the fingers and toes. Take a big, big yawning stretch. Stretching arms and legs in opposite directions. Before rolling to your favorite side, cradling head within your arms. With eyes remaining closed, make your way to a seated position. Hands connect at heart's chest. A symbol of gratitude. The light in me sees and honors the light in each of you. Namaste.